So, version 3.1 of BMG has come out, and along with that, it brought this bad boy. Finally, a remaster of the T series, and I gotta say that I am happy because there were some things that I was not happy with about this car, but I didn't know what to make with this vehicle. So, to get the juices flowing, I brought out one of my favoritest creations of all. It is an automation car, and a lot of you are gonna be unhappy with that one, but. I love automation and this is just so fun of a car that I made. It's just, it's just really cool. I didn't realize I hadn't made the gauges, but the dual front axle, all that sort of stuff, I love it and I thought, wait, what if? Can you just see it? Can you smell it in the air? I think I have an idea. No, I'm not going to make a Formula One truck. No, that's just silly. What I am gonna do though, is try to do a little bit of a double front axle sort of thing and try to turn it into a fun drag car per se. Then I'm going to take it around Laguna Seca and see how it compares to my other race vehicles. But we can't just make a drag vehicle out of this because frankly, even with the most amount of power, it's just really, Slow. So, first things first, let's do the V12 mod. This has been sitting unactive for a long time. Let's go turn that on, and then let's go into vehicle config, and then the engine. Huh. So, they must have changed up some of the nomenclature for this to not work. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure if I want to use the old one. Delatch, then come over here, and that delatches and opens forwards. That's something we didn't have before. But look at that engine detail. The diesel fuel distributor goes into the direct injector sort of setup there. Got the turbo, and this actually makes sense now because previously it did not make sense. Unfortunately, I don't have a version of the original one but this is like it, it was just a weird setup and it made no goddamn sense like the manifolds were just weird so i'm not gonna use this i'm gonna work with the new files and they don't call it the semi anymore oh that may maybe part of the reason as to why my mod doesn't work if you've been around for long enough you know that i have a problem with their nomenclature so let's hope that the new name is better than the old one though semi wasn't so bad and it is called the US Sammy. Right. But hey, you know what? That leads me to think that they're going to do a Sammy, quote unquote, as like maybe a European one. I mean, they might do an Australian one, but let's be honest, they're just a mix of American and uh, European ones anyway. So first things first, let's do the V12 mod. And if you like these sorts of videos, consider subscribing. Then Semi and Semi Mechanicals. I suppose that's a choice. May it's probably under mechanicals. Oh my goodness. How long is that chassis? Hold hold on, hold the phone. What the hell? Uh you know what? There is one with a truck bit on the back. I mean there's some longer ones, but my god. Don't need any of the frame rail stuff. The exhaust we're probably going to have to keep for now, but the rest of this can go away. Oh, you know what? This engine bay is a lot tighter than it was. I don't know if this is gonna fit. I could go for a VR12, kinda like they did with the Volkswagen engine, but mm, I, that's, that's a tight fit. So I'm gonna undelete everything and try at least to make this work. So if we have a look, only that shaft is gonna be in the way potentially. Uh, everything else looks fairly good. We're gonna have to do some modifications to this pipe, but the rest of this flows properly now. So we got from the intakes into the turbo, the turbo then goes up directly into the manifold. No intercooler. Okay. You know what? I suppose I could have just looked here. Yes, there is one that goes over and one that goes through an intercooler. So I suppose we could start to figure out what it is we want to do. In fact, actually, it doesn't fit. Great work. <sighs> do I just keep running with it clipping through the freaking thing? Sure. Why not? Then right in the center there, active element. 
Uh, if we're gonna have a 60 degree bank, we're gonna rotate it 30. Except that's the wrong way around. Okay. And if we look closely, there are some things clipping. Really should have taken the turbo with it, so let's undo that. God damn it. Okay. We've got both banks rotated properly. There's a lot of work to be done here, and I think we don't need two manifolds either for the intake. So we'll figure something out there. Then these pipes are going to have to be modified. Ah, finally, and it's messy as hell, but I do have 12 fuel lines. I wish I could have reused theirs, but oh god, it's still not even perfect. I mean, it's never going to be exactly perfect because... I'm just not a 3D model, it's not my skill set. But yeah, that is basically it's finished now. After doing all of these changes on this far superior model, but still a difficult model to do what it is that I'm doing without having to put in a whole lot more effort than what I want to put in, we're done. So let's grab these and- oh wait, I have to do the exhaust as well. But you know what? Actually, that doesn't look so bad. I think I'm willing to live with that. Okay, let's go ahead and grab our engine bits. Then make sure that when we export them, select it only. Then from the semi, we're gonna grab the engine. Don't need the engine mounts because that already works. And we gotta give it a unique name. So I'm thinking the Phil Asco diesel. Sounds good to me. Uh, the turbos are gonna have to change because we have created our own turbo uh, mirrored thing. I mean, sure. So, do we have many other turbo things? Yes, we do. All right, well, that's all gonna have to change to something like a V12 turbo. Now, we double all the powers. 220 becomes 440, 450 becomes 900, I think? We now have the node weight, and this has to get an extra 50% on as well. So we're at 144. Let's break out a calculator. 144 times 1.5, 216. This is going to end badly. Ah, back into beam and G, control L to make sure that it recognizes that the mother is even there. Then if we go into front frame engine, Philasco diesel 1800 CIV 12. I hate you. What I haven't done is I haven't grabbed this engine and plopped it into the flex body section. There, let's fix that. Uh, this was also an extra V12 in there. And refresh. Okay, what do we have here? Uh, this is all looking fairly good. It doesn't look like... Oh, I don't know why there's exhaust poking out that way, but it doesn't look like it has everything on here. So nitrous oxide empty, engine management, that's all good. Intake empty. Let's stick on a small toy bar. Okay. That is looking a lot closer. Okay, I haven't done the intake manifold yet. That thing has its own name. Then replace all of those with the new name. Save that. Refresh and what do we got? <sighs> Mesh V12 injection pump not found. Semi engine intake not found. What? Now let's go into here and make sure that we re do everything properly as well. You, 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 and you. And would you look at that? I mean, it's kind of weirdly squished. <sighs> but. I'm not going to fix that because I just don't have the modeling skills to be able to do that quite right. So I think I am happy with that. As for the exhaust, we did make a custom one of those. V12 exhaust. Then how does that look? Hmm. You know, it looks all right. Okay, actually, can we get rid of the sleeper? Conventional day cab front frame. Okay. All right. Let's see how she drives. Come on. It's still really... Okay, you know what? I think we need the gear changes to happen just a little bit higher. Also, I probably should have put the hood up. Clutch start, clutch launch target, high shift down, high shift up. Let's change that to like 2900. Gotta get that high revving V12 going, bruv. Now, 
When it goes to shift? Nope. Nope. Third gear? Nope. Okay. So that's got to be all controlled on the transmission side then. Maybe I'll create a race one. Oh, getting a little bit of wheel spin and everything. Oh, fancy. I think this would be a little bit more nippy if we had a lighter chassis though. So, let's go put on a lighter chassis then. Conventional day cab front, rear, tandem, fifth wheel. Uh, long uplift frame. Wait, what's that? Oh my god, that's the really long one, huh? Okay, let's go medium uplift. I just want to see what these look like. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, if I could have that in a super single or a single, that'd be great. Looks like the only single suspension setup is in a short frame, though. And I don't want to have, like, an eight wheel, two at the front, two at the rear. I just, I just, I just want one set. See, that's a, yeah, that is a dual suspension setup. There's nothing I could do there. All right, if I'm going to ma uh, make a race version of this, I'm going to have to go ahead and create a entirely new front chassis section. Will I, though, also have a body on it? I'm thinking I want something a little bit more open wheeler-esque. Call this open wheeler. Then we're going to get rid of the cab because we don't need that. Don't need the sleeper engine radiator. Exhaust is good. Fuel tanks are good. Side steps. Ah, we could leave those on there for a run bumper we're gonna leave and axle we're gonna leave. Now we have the open wheeler front frame. You know, I just realized what it is that I'm doing. I'm basically making an exo car for the truck. Oh, I have a problem. Let's grab our frame. Oh god, there's a bunch of them, isn't there? Hide, yep. Uh, that's the one we need. Then in our working files, plop you in. Let's grab you and then move you forward so then you don't interfere. That looks like a good amount of distance. That is 1.3 meters further forwards. So let's move you, GY, 1.3 minus backwards. Okay, good. Let's also go ahead and import the J-beam. Frame front open wheeler. Yes, that looks wrong. Frame front, there seems to be no node offset. So why are these nodes all in the wrong place? Wait, I think I figured it out. The ref nodes on the long one are different nodes. Oh, so the node offset they're using is a really roundabout way of grabbing like different nodes to be the ref node so it moves into a different place, I think. This is very confusing. I don't get it. You know what? It's fine. Let's go ahead and grab... Ooh, dear. Which one has the suspension on it? Also, does our front axle under slots have no offset? It does. Great. Well, that's going to make life fun. Very fun. Looks like the suspension lines up at about here. So we're only really going to need to grab these nodes and duplicate them. Cause I don't want to just have like the suspend, like the, the nodes moved out forwards. Because what's that, what that's going to mean is if we move those forwards, now these are kind of like loosely laying, hanging off of nodes that are really far away. Soon after. All right, after a bunch of work, open wheeler. Is this gonna update to give us the new nodes? It is. And they're not all connected. Seems that F, F12 has gone off on its own? I'm confused. Leaf top two? Huh. I'm guessing what's happened here is the suspension is meant to give this a place to sit. I wonder what would happen if we do a little bit of rearranging. First, let's go ahead and remove the engine to make this a little bit easier. Oh, wait. This is the whole section here that I haven't worked on. My bad. After tweaking that, perfect, it holds in place. Okay, we now have extra mounting for the front suspension. Now let's grab the name of this doohickey, put that in there, and a quick little refresh, and there you have it. The first part of extending out. Now we're just gonna create a secondary front suspension area. Let's go ahead and put that little name in there, then duplicate our front axle. Put on that little X2 that we added, make this the second front axle, and then node move is going to need to move 1.3 meters further forwards, which means more negative, which means this goes to 0 
seven, I think is how that works. Then under here, we have the fun task of now replacing all of these. Let's go with like two X on the end of everything. Are we lucky enough to have this work first try though? Doesn't look like it. Wait, no, hold on, it is there, hold on. Second front axle, that's unhappy. Wait, oh, you know what? I think there's a problem with node groups. If I try to unpause, yep, just immediately bugs out. Ah, uh, you know what? I should probably change the names of these. And a little refresh here and... Perfect! That is working suspension. I don't think we have a anti-roll bar, but you know what? I think we'll be fine, mate. She'll be right. How's the stretch material look? You know, not terrible. You could clearly see the dividing line there, but I reckon once you get the engine in, it's not going to be a problem. I see nothing wrong here, except for the fact that this is kind of in the wrong place. God damn. Ugh. Let's try putting a bumper bar on. I've moved it forwards, and then front bumper sits nice and cleanly up there. Okay, that works. Let's go ahead and make a new wheel. So we can't just use normal wheels because they are specific to those nodes. We're going to have to create an entirely new wheel as well. Ten lug front hubs go into demountable rims front hubs. Then we got some wheel data. Okay, it doesn't look like it's here. Oh, it's actually its own little thing here. Okay, so we got split DAE. So we got some DAEs, got some tires and some wheels. Call this 2X for being extra axles. Then I'm only going to bother to keep the aluminium ones just to keep make my life a little bit easier. I just realized we are also going to need those hubs. Damn it. Drag those in and start converting that as well. I wonder if it's so simple though. We got the second front axle, front hubs. Oh, okay. Steering? Um, ah, I haven't changed the flex body stuff. Looks like that's in the reference though, so we can just go 2x and 2x. Now. Perfect. Now, I do know that the front steering is meant to turn more than the middle one as to, uh, because they're going to be like the, the circumference of the turning circle is different between the front and the rear. This is something that I did on this car, though it's a little bit hard to tell. It is actually slightly steeper on that one compared to that one. So I probably should do that, but I don't remember how to do the math and I don't want to. So. How's our open wheeler going? I reckon it's pretty sick, bruv. I just want some big drag tires on the back. I've, I think I've done that before. I wonder if I enable that mod. It probably actually won't work. Damn it. You know what? It's fine. For now, let's go into the intake and put on a big turbo charger. In fact, actually, you know what? It's something I haven't... Tr oh, wait. Where'd the intake go? Then... Oh, no. The airbox is a part of the body, isn't it? Oh. Well, they're going to open up into air. That's fine. I think I want to put a seat on the back and kind of turn it into a, a bit of a tractable exo cage sort of thing. Just, you know, for the absolute hell of it. God, I wish I had some sort of, like, massive super single for the rear, though. Wait, I wonder if that's an option. Hold on, hold on. Come to a stop. Great brakes. Rear frame, rear suspension, wheel hub, demountable rear hubs. Rear wheel? There's only one option. Okay, let's go with like a 10 lug. Does that change anything? Doesn't look like a rear wheel. Aluminium rear wheels? Hmm. Doesn't seem like there's a super single option. Hey, only after like two hours was I able to actually finally get the rear massive single tire to work. Isn't that fantastic? Except one minor little detail. Huh. Okay, so I have two options. One, drop that suspension down a little bit, or two, raise the suspension up a little bit. Hmm. I am incredibly tempted. Sure, I, you know what? <laughs> I think we got the thumbnail, but instead I'm gonna go back to the old tires. Because I do want to actually take this thing around a racetrack around Laguna Seca. Why is it spawning in the ground like that? Do you- do you hate me? Okay, that's fine. Oh, oh, hold on. Get it, get into position. All right, let's try giving it a start. We've got a hot- you're gonna leave the differential- I've never had such a violent 
launch like that. How does Beam and G make that mistake? Come on. I know this is a custom map at all, but come on. Really? Now, I did consider putting a big giant wing on this, but there's two reasons why I didn't. One, this thing doesn't even really go that fast, if we're gonna be entirely honest. Oh my god, that is a nightmare. That is... that was so scary. Uh, and two, the truck weighs so goddamn much, you would have to have a huge amount of downforce. Now, I know that this thing has a lot of torque, so it can push through it. Why is the rear brakes locking up so much? My god. But you would be adding so much downforce. Okay, this time we're gonna brake from further back. We really lock up the brakes way too easily. There we go. Okay, third gear is too short there. The gap between third and fourth is pretty cacophonous. Just saying. I could be in low range, but that's too many gear shifts. Can we go through here in four, fifth gear? Yes, we can. I might have to switch to a paddle shifting because I think we got more gears than what I have in my little piddly little shifter from Logitech. <laughs> oh, that's not going well. That's fine. We're going to push through. Now, I'm guessing that this is going to be pretty goddamn slow. I'm not, I'm not a complete idiot. But I'm not expecting it to be the slowest. We have had a woefully slow cycle cart around here. Now, it's not going to be blisteringly faster, but it is going to be faster. I also did add that extra front steering angle that I was talking about, but I have no real way to properly measure it because Beam and G doesn't have, like, an orthographic view. And I can't break out a protractor. Why does it only lock up the rear brakes? Oh my god! What the hell? We don't have front brakes on! What the hell? Why? Okay, well, they're on now. Get through there. Yes, okay, good. Alrighty. Get turned in. There we go. Up into fifth again. We've not gone beyond fifth, so I don't even know if there needed to be extra gear, to be honest. Oh, okay. This isn't going well. Ah, and I changed gears too early, and we spun it. God Damn it! Okay, this time we're coming up. We're gonna take this one a little bit gingerly. Oh, that's not ginger. That's not ginger. I braked at the tire marks. I thought that I had it. Come on! I was doing so well! Oh boy. All right, here we go. Final few corners coming up at you. See, this one feels quite nice. A little bit of brake. Get turned in. A lot of drift on the exit. We're fine. That felt cool. Now here, break nice and early. For some reason. Has to be super early. Third gear. And then power it all the way down to the end. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. 225. We are the fastest we ever been because I realized we could go so much faster around corners. And a two minute 30, basically. Oh my god. That's actually really fast. <laughs> like, the only thing that's... Like, it's only a little bit slower than the Toyota 86 by 11 seconds. Oh my god. That's how fast this thing is. That's insane. Ah, oh, good golly. Those exhaust stacks are not holding up well. That's a pretty good build. Damn it, after reloading, I forgot to put the front brakes in. Damn it, I'm not doing that again. You know, I gotta say that even without the front brakes, this did a really good time. And with the front brakes, oh my god, it actually handles, one may say, in a reasonable way. It's not as bad as you might think, which is the first thing that comes to mind. With those low tire pressures, this thing manages to be able to turn in quite nicely without having too much trouble. I mean, sure, okay. Brakes are pretty sucky at the moment, as just proven by then that- Oh god, I love this thing so goddamn much. You know who else I love? My channel members, and that specifically includes 
for a really long time now. Thank you so much. The Rogue Tick, the Crayon Priest, who is a top tier channel member. For the rest of you though, I hope you're gonna go try out this mod. I'm gonna be obviously submitting it to the repository. It will be up on my Patreon though, if you want uh, a little bit of early access there. But yeah, it'll take a little bit of time for it to get approved on the repository. Uh, sometimes things can take way too long to get approved so hopefully i've done everything right here hopefully this will work but uh for now i'm gonna have to wrap up this video so i'll catch you all next time goodbye